Hey guys, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to intersect with another craft in orbit to prepare for docking. And there's been a lot of uh, t tutorials on this, but I want to focus on a particular technique that I haven't seen yet. The normal way is to just burn retrograde when you get close. Drop your separation, or your relative speed rather, down to zero. And then uh, turn target, turn towards target and burn again hit retrograde again, turn towards target again, and so on until you get right up to where you need to go. But we're going to adjust our separation as we approach um, and hopefully save a little bit of delta V in the process. Um, I'm starting out with a pretty inclined orbit relative to my target and a very high separation. You can do much better than this, but I've kept it pretty high just to kind of show the technique a little bit better, hopefully. So we're coming around. I don't want to warp too close because I've got a huge relative speed. Uh, normally it wouldn't be this bad, but uh, since this uh, orbit is rather inclined, we're going to do a little bit more work. So I'm going to warp to somewhere about in here, probably about 1 o'clock. If this was 12 o'clock, this would be about 1 o'clock, somewhere in there. And we're going to bring up the nav ball. And we're also going to do something uh, that will help us out a ton. We're going to right click on this orange uh, little icon thing and that'll sticky that information keep it up for us so we don't have to keep uh, hovering over I'm gonna do the same thing on the space station I'm gonna right click on that and it, uh, it'll stay up there for us so we want to click on uh, anti-target right now so you can see that the retrograde icon this one here is very close to that and is very close to the anti-target uh, it'll start drifting away as we get closer, but we want that retrograde icon directly over the top of that anti-target icon. And I'm going to do that by kind of drifting off to the side. It's going to be repelled from the direction we're headed, the, the retrograde icon. So we're going to fire over here, and we're going to push it towards that anti-target icon. And that means when we've done that, we're pretty much headed directly for that point of intersection. And you can see um, up above there, um, the separation is dropping. I'm kind of looking down here, it's like, yes, it is dropping. <laughs> All right. So we've done that well. Uh, we're now down to one kilometer out of uh, 14, so that's much improved. I'm going to go ahead and make a just a hard burn right here directly over the top of retrograde. And you can tell that you have enough... Um, power in your engines if uh, when you hit the uh, the full thrust that the time here um, goes up at the about the same rate as a clock would so yeah I've got plenty of plenty of power still so I want to just kind of keep that if it if it if you hit the the full thrust and it doesn't doesn't move or moves very slowly then you know you need to keep burning but we're doing really well here So let's, uh, let's go ahead and make one off the side here. I'm just going to keep it on retrograde, and it's going to keep pulling me back towards that retrograde icon. But I'm just going to bounce around over here, making a little burn, and it's going to be pushing that retrograde icon back over the top of the target anti-target icon until you see the little crosshairs pop up. That means you're right over the top of it. Anytime. There it goes. I'll hit X. Now go ahead and make a full burn here and check our uh, how we're doing. See, it's a little slow there, so I'll keep burning until it starts speeding up. Right about there, maybe. Okay, doing really well. Stay down to 4.4 kilometers. We'll keep refining that as we approach. And uh, the, the whole point of this is this should save a lot of delta V, not a ton, but it, it should save a lot compared to the just burn retrograde and then fire prograde regime. So let's uh, kind of kick this back over, nice gentle burn off to the side here. The closer you get, the faster that prograde icon will move. a little harder. Not quite close. There we go. Whoops. 
So let's go ahead and make a full burn here. See how the 23 is kind of staying still. That means we need to keep burning. Let it get a little too close. So we'll keep burning until it starts going up at a normal time space. Now as we get closer, obviously we need to keep doing that shorter and shorter together. Keep canceling that off for some reason. All right, so we're down to 3,000 kilometers, or meters, 0.1 separation. We're drifting down a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the bounce technique. Just kind of bounce down as I burn, there it goes. When you see that crosshairs come up, pop back over the top of the anti-target, that means you're right on. Down to 0, 0.0, doing good. All right. My goal is to stop about 30 meters from the space station. Now, once we get uh, closer here, we can start using the um, the RCS controls to do that job of moving the prograde, or re excuse me, the retrograde icon around. So I'll show you that here in a second. Once I get a little closer and a little slower. Still fairly high closing speed. It's starting to drift up a little bit, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. And now I'm going to use the RCS to try to kick that down. I'm hitting K right now, and you can see that we're drifting down towards that anti target icon. Do another retrograde burn. That was way too much. So. We are probably moving away from it right now. So if I hit the RCS at N, there we go, bring it back a little bit. We're 174, so we're still fine. But uh, let's use the RCS to kind of fine tune that uh, control. I hit the K a couple times, drop it down, there we go. And it's probably better if just stay on anti-target at this point. And here I'll show you if you go to the right or the left using the RCS controls up and down. Just want to keep that over the top. All right, we're doing okay. I made that last burn was a little too aggressive. Hit the end a little bit, speed up just a hair. So we're at 130. We're headed right for it. A little faster maybe. All right. I get to about 50 or so, so I'll start slowing down pretty hard. And the, per the retrograde hasn't drifted much, so that means we're headed right for it. The closer you get, the faster any slight imperfections will cause that to start drifting off, but uh, looks like we're right on it. There it goes down a little bit. If I hit the eye couple times brings it back up all right we're right at 30 so I'm gonna drop this down to zero using the H key of course there it is all right and let's see how we did 20.9 29.1 there's our space station we're ready to dock go ahead and uh, do a quick uh, docking tutorial for you just since we're here uh, we're gonna open that up uh, you want to switch using the um, bracket keys to the space station. You want to choose the, um, I've got so many docking ports so you can choose from. I'll choose one on the other side just to make it a little bit more interesting. If you hit control from here and then switch back to your craft, you can uh, usually just set it as target. And you can see it's selected over there. Now I want to hit uh, target so that my craft is pointed towards that docking port over there. And now I want to orientate, orientate my craft so that uh, my IK buttons are up and my JK buttons are left and right. So that is opposite of what I want. Whoops. There we go. So drifting a little bit to the right. Let me correct that. Zoom back out just a hair. All right, so I'm gonna hit H to accelerate towards the, uh, the far side there. Now, since I, oops, 
two. Now, since I'm, um, I have the target selected on the SAS, it's going to keep my craft pointed directly towards that. So instead of hit, hitting H, I'm going to need to hit um, K in this case to kind of slow down as I swing around. And uh, it's doing the job of rotating the craft for me, which is really nice. Maybe go a little bit back this way. And now as I'm kind of on the same side of it, I need to start hitting uh, H to slow down. And I need to hit uh, K in this case to stop that rotation. A little bit more H. Now as you can look in the nav ball, you can start using that to move that prograde icon right over the top of the target. I'm not, I wasn't even looking at the craft in that case. It's much easier to use the nav ball when you get to that point. And there it is. Piece of cake. All right, guys, I uh, hope that helped, um, especially the part about uh, kind of adjusting your trajectory, uh, adjusting your separation as you approach rather than just waiting and hitting retrograde and then having to burn extra fuel, which we always don't have, don't always have. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.